we're going to take a closer look at the UK 10 pence coin from 1992 featuring Queen Elizabeth II. We'll delve into its historical significance and its current value in the collector's market. Yeah. So grab your magnifying glass and let's get started. Here it is, the 1992 UK 10 pence coin, a small but significant piece of numismatic history. Before we get into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with all our coin-related content. Now, let's travel back in time in 1992. It was a year filled with notable events, and this coin captures a snapshot of that era. Queen Elizabeth the whose portrait graces the obverse of this coin was the reigning monarch. The design on the reverse side features a segment of the royal shield, a symbol of the United Kingdom's rich heritage. As we zoom in, you can appreciate the intricate details of the coin. The obverse showcases a young Queen Elizabeth die with the inscription Elizabeth I in a need, DGFD FD indicating her title. The reverse features a portion of the royal shield representing different parts of the UK. It's a design that truly encapsulates the unity of the nation. Third crown portrait of Queen Elizabeth, I, I facing right, wearing the Georgia State diadem. The Georgia State diadem, officially the diamond diadem, is a type of crown that was made in 1820 for King George IV. The diadem is worn by queens and queen's consort in procession to coronations and state openings of parliament. The piece of jewelry has been featured in paintings and on stamps and currency. It can be seen in the Queen's Gallery at Buckingham Palace. Elizabeth I I digrasha Regina fee defense. Atrix means Elizabeth I by the grace of God, Queen and Defender of the Faith. Now, let's talk about the value of this coin for collectors. The 1992 10 pence coin is sought after by collectors for its historical significance and unique design. While its face value is just 10 pence, its collector's value has seen fluctuations over the years. Prices can vary based on factors like condition, rarity, and demand in the market. If you're thinking about starting a collection or already have one, here are a few tips. First, always check the coin's condition. Coins in better condition often fetch higher prices. Second, educate yourself about the rarity of certain years or variations. And finally, consider reaching out to fellow collectors or experts for advice. As we wrap up our journey into the world of the 1992 UK 10 pence coin, I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this small yet significant piece of history. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share your thoughts or any interesting coin stories in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting.